so guys uh, basically uh, we have done with the all the dscp concept right like a uh, client identifier normal dscp dora process right uh, least time we have done with that least time as well as renewal time we have done right rewinding time we have done we have done with the client identifier i'll upload the videos video uploading kya hai video तीन वीडियोस थे ना तीन वीडियोस अपलोड है हां तीन वीडियोस अपलोड है दिस सेपरेट ड्राइव फॉर देना हां हां डीएसपी न्यू ड्राइव राइट यस सो वी हैव डन विद दिस गाइस एंड आल्सो वी हैव डन विद द एक्सक्लूडेड एड्रेस कांसेप्ट राइट एनीथिंग एल्स डीएसपी रिलेजेंट राइट एनीथिंग एल्स डीएसपी और द वीलन कांसेप्ट एज़ वेल एज़ वी हैव सीन दैट राइट ओके चलो जी डीएसपी सर्वर दिस इज द स्विच ओए इधर आ क्लाइंट क्लाइंट यार एक काम करता हूं मैं जेम्स पे दिखा देता हूं आल्सो मी टू एंड एंड प्यार भर कर दे गबरो लेकिन रात का बैच होता है ना तो रात में नींद आती है तो तो मस्ती करना चाहिए लाइफ में कई रखा है चार साल का तुम्हारा जाना है सब डीएसपी ऑन लेयर थ्री वी लेफ्ट ओ ओ जावेद यस जावेद नो बड़ी विल डिस आई कैन नॉट कैन सो यू दैट कोनो भी होली अच्छी नहीं हुई ना होली होली मनाओ उसमें लगाओ भोजपुरी सॉन्ग पवन सिंह का Uh, sir, will we do that DCP redundancy, sir? On to DCP redundancy sir. is not given in your topic, uh, Javed. DCP redundancy, you are just talking about. Ram, if you have a two DCP server and one network, sir, if one goes down, so another will take over. So that sir. DCP redundancy, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Get it, get it, get it. Don't worry. This thing is not given in a topic, right? But I'll say I'll kill that one as well as normal. Okay, sir. What do I get? What do I get? You just number kiss me, dear. My love, bola. Yeah, bola. Bella. Ticket now. Acha. मैं पहले दो मिनट लिस्ट इस पे इसका कॉल कैसा है मैं तेरे से ही पूछ रहा हूं तुझे नंबर किसने दिया बोला मैंने मैं मैंने हम वो नंबर कभी नहीं लिखता हूं मैं जल्दी बहुत रेयर लिखता हूं रमन क्या कर रहा हूं रमन कब ने किया रिप्लाई कब ने तूने कब मैसेज किया रिप्लाई नहीं दिया मैंने हां कब किया था रिप्लाई दिया था ना मैंने अच्छा जी चला की मेरे से वी हैव टू वीडियो इन द डीएससी नो इट्स अ थ्री वीडियो जावेद ओए इधर आओ सी गाइस दिस इज द टॉप क्लोजिंग वी हैव सो ओवी दिस इज द अटैकर राइट This is the attacker that have created the DSCP pool, and also this is the legit, uh, legitimate DSCP pool, right? So basically, what happened when this person, right, when this person is giving, making a request, Discord packet, right? In the Discord packet, what is the source MAC address? This one, right? C two zero three, and distance MAC will be what? Source IP, distance IP. When this packet, right, is coming to the switch, what switch will do? 
by looking this information right distance and mac address it will perform the broadcasting it will send this packet to the uh, dhcp server as well as and this dhcp server as well as right right now this is what attacker this is what attacker and this is the legitimate dhcp pool this is my own company network right own company pool now what happened this guy also give the offer packet right this guy also give the offer packet and this guy also give the offer packet to the switch now try to understand either switch will forward this packet to the, this guy or either they will forward this packet to this guy at a one time see they will forward both the packet right but at a one time what happened to take example if this switch will process this packet first this pc will get the ip address from the which pool 2.1 right <clears throat> and default get will be what this ip address 2.100 now tell me if this pc will send any traffic to the isp right how the traffic will follow happen like this and like this right because my default gateway is what attacker ip try to understand when this person is making a request right discord packet hey i, I need a ip addressing what happened they will send a discord packet when the discord packet comes to the switch switch we look up the distance of mac right? breaking. my voice is breaking no it's good appenit parts are almost 98 point maybe your side issue is there now when this packet is coming to the switch right what switch will do it will look up the distance of mac and based on the distance of mac what they will do they will send the packet to the this guy and this guy as well as right what this attacker will do in this case attacker will give the ip address from this pool right this server also give the uh, reply packet and this server also give the reply packet right i mean offer packet and in the offer packet what happened you have ip addressing please stamp everything right take example if this switch will process this packet first this pc will get the ip address from what this pool right 2.1 and default get will be what 2.100 now when this pc will send any ping a dot a dot a dot a dot a dot eight right what happened my all traffic will follow by the this part in that case what happened attacker can intercept your packet as well as they can see whatever the information that you are sending right or even if they want they can drop your packet as well as if they want they can drop the packet they can relay the packet in a different direction right they can relay the packet in a different direction or they can sniff your packet right they can sniff your packet and uh, see the all information all the credential information and then after that it will forward the packet to the isp same way what happened if this person will make a request it will create a packet the packet is come to the switch what switch will do broadcast it will send the packet to this guy and this guy now take example what happened this this guy will also give the reply and this guy will also get the reply if the switch will follow this reply first what happened the pc will get the exact ip address 101 so in this case what happened if this pc wants to communicate with the isp the traffic follow via like this so there is no <clears throat> attack will happen in this packet right but the attack will happen for this packet as well as because this part this pc will get the ip address from which pool attacker right so to avoid this problem what we can do over there we are going to enable the dhcp snooping and what dhcp snooping is going to do dhcp snooping is going to make this interface right i'm going to manually make this interface as a trusted port right after enabling the dhcp snooping on the switch right what happen i'm going to make this interface as a trusted port so what happen when this person will send the request packet right discover packet switch will receive right switch will forward this packet to this guy and this guy as well as but now when this person is giving the reply packet and this person is giving the reply packet what happen only on the trusted port i can receive the reply only on this particular port not the this port 
from the trusted port, I can receive the offer packet. Because what happened after enabling, right? After enabling the DSCP snooping, the command is IP DSCP snooping. And then you have to tell this which VLAN you are interested, right? For VLAN number one, because all the ports belong to the VLAN number one, you can enable for the VLAN number 10, 20, 30, as well as whatever the VLAN you want. Okay, IP means what? I'm going to enable the IP DSCP snooping for the IPv4, right? After putting this command, what happened? All your switch interface, right? All switch port interface will move in untrusted port. So after enabling this guy, what happened? This guy will be here at untrusted, 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 and untrusted. What I'm going to do manually? I'm going to configure this guy as a trusted. So I can only receive the reply packet, right? I can only receive the reply packet from this particular port and they will assign the IP address to the this guy. I'm not going to accept the any offer packet from this one because these are my untrusted. Untrusted, I cannot believe one, right? We have a two types of ports over there after enabling the DSCP. We have a trusted or we have a untrusted. By default, it will take the untrusted. I have to make a trusted where the DSCP server is configured. So on this particular interface, right? Gig 0 slash 0, right? On this particular interface, we have a DSCP server. On this particular interface, I'm going to make this as a trusted port so that I can receive the offer packet. Normally, what happens if you see? Visible, R1, R4, R2, R2 is also there, right? So R2, interface 0 slash 0. I'm going to use this pool, right? 2.0 slash 24. IP address will be 2.1 slash 24. No shutdown, right? R1. Interface 0 slash 0, IP address will be slash 24, IP DSCP pool, right? LAN, network, slash 24, default order will be what? 101. On a R2 as well as IP DSCP pool, attacker, right? Net. Uh, network 2.0 slash 24 default order will be what 2.1 done come to the r1 and have a look not r3 even though to the r3 see on r3 i said the interface 0 slash 0 no shutdown ip address dhcp Same thing on R4, you can go and see that IP address DHCP. R5 as well as config interface 0 slash 0, IP address DHCP, no shutdown. So on every daughter, right, all this guy, I have configured the no shutdown. 
and I did IP address DHCP, right? I want the IP address from the DHCP interface zero slash zero. No shutdown IP address DHCP. See, if you just go back to the R R three first, R three is taking the IP address from which one? Legitimate server, right? R four, legitimate server. R five. Legitimate server. Let's do one thing. Make it shut down. Shut down. Shut down. Our computer, everything is perfectly. Okay. Our computer, the IP address to show it in the screen. Two dot one, two dot zero, two dot one. Perfect. No shut down. No shut down. No shut down. Got the IP address from what? Attacker. Hey, Balu Manus. Two or two. R four. R five. Make it shut down again. Arrow is coming. Take it. Devdas is coming. Today is Holi day. Devdas will come. Sit here. Then the circle Saru Khan is like this. मान चाहे नहीं नहीं मान मेरी क्या बात है मैंने तारीफ किया हाँ मुझे पता है one dot seven right r four one of six and r three one of five so sometimes the user is getting the IP address from the attacker right and sometimes the user is getting the ip address from the this side sometimes getting from this side and sometimes getting from the this side right but if i'm getting the ip from this side what happened attack will be happen right if attacker will know about your ip addressing they can do any kind of attack in your network and that's why that's why always do you know one thing every attacker is trying to perform the attack on the dna server because from the DNA server, they can get the IP information. So to avoid this problem, what I'm going to do, I'm going to enable the DHCP snooping on the switch, right? I just go on the switch side, enable config terminal. By default, DHCP snooping is disabled, right? I said IP DHCP snooping for which VLAN? VLAN number one, done. Now, what I'm going to do, by default, now what happened after enabling this command, all this port will become the untrusted, right? I'm going to make this interface as a trusted port. Go on this interface, gig 0 slash 0. Interface, gig 0 slash 0. IP, DSCP, snooping. Information, trust. IP, DSCP, snooping, trust. I make this interface as trust so that what happened? I assume that this interface has a connectivity with the server or the legitimate server. So I can only receive the offer packet from this particular interface, not the this side. Okay. After enabling the DHCP snooping, after enabling the DHCP snooping, show IP DHCP snooping. Now, just pay attention. <laughs> Insertion option 82 is enabled. Now, try to understand one thing. Source Mac, destination Mac, source IP, Destination IP, source port number, destination port number, right? Paste and have a look. Source MAC, I'm going to assume, take example, a destination MAC FFF, source IP 0 .0 .0 .0 .0, destination IP 255, then source port number 68 and destination port number 67. 
this is sent by whom client right source mac 8 destination mac one minute 00 255 source port number 67 2068 this is sent by whom khatarnak और ये सोर्स मैक ए डेस्टेंस मैक एफ 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 सोर्स जीरो आउट जीरो आउट जीरो डेस्टेंस मैक एफ एफ टू फिफ्टी बाय सिक्सटी सेवेंटो सिक्सटी सेंट टेल मी रिले एजेंट राइट रिले एजेंट ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड आफ्टर कंफिगर द डीएसपी स्नूपिंग राइट नॉट वन दिस वन व्हाट हैपेन this switch is now going to behave like a after configure what this is snooping so now if you go back to the pc right r3 and say that shut down r4 shut down and r5 shut down And say the no shutdown, no shutdown, and no shutdown. Will my PC get the IP address? Tell me. Will my PC get the IP address? Why? After enabling the DSCP snooping, what happened? This switch is behave like a relay agent. So will this will this PC get the IP address? My DSC pool is configured. DSCP snooping is there, and this interface is also behave like a trusted interface. See, will this PC get the IP address? Why? अबे कैसे ये CS मिलना होगा तो मिलने ही होगा अभी तक. Right now, after configure the relays and what happened? they behave like a different different did i configure help address over there इतना बाल दूर रूम पे आ गया मैं सो दिस का इज रिलेशन So, did I configure any IP helper address over there? So, will this PC get the IP address? No. Relation me kya karte the? You have to configure the IP address, right? So, did I configure the IP address over there? No. So, will this PC get the IP address? No. So, 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 अभी क्वेश्चन पूछूंगा ना मैं बेजती कर दूंगा तेरी ह्यूमन सेंस सीरियसली यार अभी इतना अच्छा टॉपिक पढ़ा रहा हूं मैं सही मजाक मत करो मेरे से फिर ना कैंसिल कर देना टॉपिक सुनो मेरी बात ऑप्शन 82 है ना मजा मजे में मत हो इंटरफेस विला नंबर 1 आईपी एड्रेस विल बी 1.100 Okay, and I said the IP no shut down. IP helper address is what one on one, right? Define the IP helper address to the my server, right? One on one. That's my server IP address. Wait for some time, and now this client will get the IP address. This is just happened because of the DHCP snooping is enabled, and after DHCP snooping, what happened? They are going to make this guy as a relay agent, and insert on the option number eighty-two. I'll explain what is the use of this thing. Don't worry. 
or five or four or five or three. Wait for some time to get the IP address. Doing sounds fine. The interface is up. Do say IP interface brief. Is good now. Got the IP. From where I'm getting the IP address? One of five. R four. One of six. R five. One of seven. Make it shut down again. R three. Shut down. R four. Shut down. Always I will get the IP address from the legitimate DS service server, not the attacker. No shut down. No shut down. No shut down. Sir, interview is not over yet. I feel like it's over. Got the IP? One on one. R three. One on one. And R four. One on six. Always you will get the IP address from the legitimate server. Try to understand why this thing is doing just because of the option number eighty two. Because of this guy, right? This one. Because of this person, this guy is behave like a relay agent. That's why I have to configure the IP helper address. Tell me if I'm going to disable this guy. Right now it's enabled. If I'm going to disable this guy, do I need to configure the helper address? No. I'll show you that practical as well as first. I'll show you what is the use of option eighty two. See, option eighty two. This is one service provider company, right? A cloud company, right? That is going to give the uh, like you know the IP to the host, right? So there's another. Oh, we we have some host over there. We have some host over there, and we have some host. They are different different organization, right? So organization A, B, and C. Now this guy has connected like this, like this, and like this. Switch. Now tell me if this person is going to make a request. This is the company A. This is the company B, and this is the company C. If this person is going to make a request, how does this ISP know that? Okay, this packet is coming from the company. Yeah, man. यहाँ पे तो change हो जाएगा. ये switch है यहाँ पे DSP इसमें भी नहीं available तुम्हारा. Client and intern, Mac errors. How this, how the switch uh, ISP will know this packet is coming from this, uh, uh, like uh, you know, company B and company C. After enabling the DSP snooping, what happened? They will put the new option field that is known as a option eighty two. And what option eighty two is going to do? It contains the information about port number, right, associated with the VLAN. And the MAC as well as normal in Discord packet. Normal Discord packet, you don't have this information option eighty two. After enabling the DSP snooping, what happened? Automatically, option eighty two comes in the picture. So, do we have a like a service provider scenario over there right now? No. So, do I need a, a DSP snooping over there? Uh, sorry, uh, option eighty two. No, right? If you see. Discord packet, right? The first one, what happened? Done, right? What is the port number? Behave like a relay agent, right? Source IP is what? That I have configured on the interface VLAN number one SBI, right? Destination IP is what? Server IP address. And if you see, 
रिलेजेंट द मोस्ट इंटरेस्टिंग कौन सा भी ऑप्शन नंबर एटी टू ऑफ दिस पार्ट ऑप्शन एटी टू This option it is is going to be split in the two uh, two types. One is the agent circuit ID. And another is a agent remote ID. By default, option eighty two is disabled after enabling the DHCP snooping. Your option eighty two automatically will enable. How look? DHCP snooping option eighty two. Can you see this part? When the DSCP snooping option eighty two features is enabled, right on the switch, a subscriber device is identified. Subscriber is what ISP, right? ISP or server that is going to provide the uh, IP addressing. A subscriber device is identified by the switch port through which it connects to the network. Multiple host subscriber LAN can be connected to the same port on the access switch. So by putting the eighty two information, we are going to identify this thing, right? See, single port, access layer switches, and we have a multiple clients. How do we identify? How the server is going to identify? Where should I forward the DSC packet based on the option in number eighty two? And in the option number eighty two, what I'm going to put? I'm just going to put the two information. One is the remote ID that contains the switch MAC address, right? That contains the switch MAC address. The another one is the circuit ID. That is this guy, agent circuit ID. That is this guy. And agent remote ID that is this guy that is going to contain the MAC address of switch, right? And this part agent circuit ID is going to contain the information about what the port, VLAN mode port, where the packet is received. So this is the binary of Your port number and particular VLAN, and this information option number eighty two, right? This option number eighty two is present in your which packet? Go back to the uh, offer packet. Same information. So this is only present whenever you are going to enable the option number eighty-two, and option number eighty-two is just going to contains the information about the switch port interface VLAN and switch MAC address, right? So that the server will identify. Okay, I need to forward the packet to the this guy, right? By default, it's enabled after performing a DHCP snooping. So in that case, what happened? You need to define the IP helper address command, right? Now tell me one thing. Take example. Right now, if you see another thing, what is the size of this packet? Eighteen bytes.
extra overhead right tell me do uh, do we need of this uh, option number 82 in this field right now in this topology no because all they are in the same land right all they are in the same land network do i need option number 82 no so in that case what happened i just go on the switch side let me remove the SBI, no VLAN, no interface, VLAN number one. Let's remove it right now. Let's go to R3, shut down, shut down, shut down. Let's make a no shut down. No shut down. Now this PC will Now this PC will never get the IP address right because I have removed this command. The interface VLAN number one, no interface VLAN is there. So if you see, do show IP interface, do we have SBI? SBI is not there. Now, do show IP DSCP snooping. Option number 82 is still enabled, right? Do I need this guy now? No. What I going to do? No IP DSCP snooping option information. Option. Disable do so IP DSCP snooping. Disable now this PC will get the IP. Because now I don't need to define the real agent. Done. R3, R5. So this is your option number 82. That contains the agent circuit ID information that will have a VLAN to put and this guy's agent remote ID will be a MAC address. Any questions, anyone? Option number 82 and DSCP is nothing. Hmm. Sure. Hmm. 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 Common sense. If you want a multiple VLAN snooping, then what will be the command? You just need to go on the switch and say that. IP DHCP is snooping. VLAN number. We can define the VLAN number of them. Done. Any questions? Chaloji. ARP, Sabko Pata. Everyone knows the ARP, right? Switch. Uh, 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 now we just enable the DSCP snooping and disable the option field. Uh, the, yes, I disable the option field over there. Switch. Oh, huh? Huh? PC what? PC number two and PC number three, right? IP. One over one. Mac information. A. IP. B. Mac will be two. Sorry, IP will be two. Mac will be B. And IP. C and Mac will be three. Done. DCB server.
IP DSCP pool, LAN, network, slash it. On this guy, we have enabled the DSCP snooping. Right? After enabling your DSCP snooping, after enabling the DSCP snooping, what happened? Switch right, show IP DSCP snooping. Database. Binding. They will maintain the one binding table. Try to understand in binding table what information you have. Client MAC address, client IP address, lease time, the type that have enabled the DSCP snooping, which VLAN they belong to the, which port they belong to the. It means that once this PC will get the IP address, this PC will get the IP address, and this PC will get the IP address. Try to understand. Zero slash zero, zero slash one, zero slash three, and zero slash two. What switch is going to do? It maintains the one binding table, right? In this binding table, what information I'm going to put? Zero slash one, I'm going to put the IP address 10101, MAC will be A, the VLAN number 1. 0 slash 2, I'm going to put the 1012, MAC will be B, and VLAN number 1. And 0 slash 3, I'm going to put the 1013, MAC will be C, VLAN number 1. Right? Clear? This information is our DSCP database table, binding table. Now, if this PC will say the ping, What happened? This is attacker. If this PC is the ping one or three, what happened? Tell me. Hmm. Okay. It will generate the art request, right? Source Mac will be what? A and distance Mac. Right? Source I will be what? Source MAC A, distance MAC will be 000. Source I will be 101 and distance I will be 103, right? When this packet is coming to the switch, what switch will do? It will learn the MAC address. Just last one interface, I'm going to learn the MAC address what? A. What switch will do in this case now? It will follow the packet now, this guy and this guy. Broadcast. Clear. First of all, ARP is not reliable packet. Second thing, you cannot authenticate ARP packet because there is no authentication. ARP is not reliable packet. You cannot authenticate the ARP. Third thing, you cannot provide any data integrity and confidentiality. Nothing again. It's normal packet. Or no authentication. I cannot authenticate it. I cannot provide the, any kind of like you know reliability. I cannot provide any kind of data integrity or like confidentiality. So what happened in this case? Try to understand. If this person will give the reply packet, right? And the what happened in the reply packet? Source Mac will be C, and the system Mac will be what? A, source max C and distance max A and source IP will be 103 and distance IP will be 101. Switch will receive and switch will send this packet to the home PC1 and PC1 will be maintain the ARP cache. They will be the 101.113 associated with the which guy? C. And normally what happened, they can send the packet to the this guy. How the communication is happening, right? This is normal behavior. Now try to understand, as I told you that, this is what? not reliable packet, right? If attacker, if attacker will give the reply, try to understand this packet is for whom? One or three. I'm one or two, right? What one or two will do? It will create a packet 
reply packet in the reply packet what they will do they will put the source mac will be b destination mac will be a source mac will be b destination mac will be a source ip is what still 103 destination ip is what 101 and they will send this packet to the switch what switch will do zero slash 2 i am going to learn the mac address b and send this packet to whom switch 1 <laughs> now what switch 1 is going to do they will maintain the arp entry and said okay the 1103 associated with the mac b right now after that if the pc will create a packet in the source mac address what they will put a and this is mac b source ip is what this is ip is what what pc one is assuming i'm sending the packet to whom but when this packet is coming to the switch what switch will do it will look up the what mac or uh, layer two information right layer two is what where should i forward the packet after that once this guy pc will receive this packet this is the attacker right either they can drop the packet right either they can redirect the packet to the original receiver right they can redirect the packet to the this guy after sniffing right after gathering the information after gathering the information they can sniff the packet now tell me is this pc will get any idea that i'm sending the packet to the wrong user wrong person no and this is just happened because of what arp because arp is what is not reliable right i cannot authenticate this packet i cannot authenticate this packet right so to avoid this problem what i'm going to do over there i'm going to bring a one person and that person name is R inspection. What is the meaning of inspection? To check, right? To verify, right? To verify To verify what I'm going to verify over there, try to understand. Oi, we see one day there. What I'm going to verify now, try to understand when this person, right? When this person is giving the reply packet to me, right? The MAC address B. When this person is giving the reply packet to me, the MAC address B. And what IP address is there? When this packet is coming to me, right? Which packet is this? This is the R reply packet. When this packet is coming to me, on this particular switch, what happened? I have configured the R inspection. What this guy is going to do, this guy is going to verify the all our reply packet. How they will verify? They will check, hey, the MAC address B, the associate with the IP address 103, do we have in this mapping table? Do we have this mapping table MAC address B associated with 103? No. The MAC is B associated with which IP address 102? It's a wrong ARP, right? It's an invalid ARP. So when the switch will receive the, when the, this guy will identify, okay, this is the invalid ARP, what happened? They will immediately drop this packet. They will immediately drop this packet. This guy is only going to allow the valid ARP. The valid reply, they only allow the valid. This is the valid reply packet, right? This is the valid reply packet. Source MAC will be a, uh, C, distance MAC will be A. Source MAC will be C, distance MAC will be A. Source IP will be one of three and distance IP will be. This is the valid reply, right? They will check from this database one of three associated with the C. Yep, allow it. They will check this information from the database with the OK, allow it. But this guy is not, it's an invalid packet. So whenever the invalid packet is coming to me, I will simply drop this one. 
and this is all i'm going to do by implementing the arc inspection by default and same goes after entering the arc inspection right after entering the arc inspection what happen you have a trusted port and you have a untrusted port on a every untrusted port i am going to verify arc reply only on the untrusted port so if you see what i am going to do on the switch one right and this arp inspection you are only going to enable with the dhcp snooping if your device is running with the dhcp snooping then you can deal with the arp inspection when you are going to enable the dhcp snooping then you can deal with the arp inspection otherwise it's not right as sunny ek to tum arp inspection chala diya dhcp snooping hai nahi so how they will verify because this guy has to verify the information from the dhcp snooping table right so both will be present so now go on the switch side and i said that ip arp inspection right for which vlan vlan number 1 done now go to the uh, any devices right if you go to the router number 3 105 right i'll do one thing if you ping i can ping this guy 101 uh, 19104 the ip address of this r5 the ip address of r5 is 107 right so this guy is 17 and this guy is 15 right i would be able to ping right see ping is working right good now let's go on r3 and i say that okay interface 0/0 do show interface 0/0 include r sorry not bia mac address i want to see it right done on a switch side what happened what if we will make an unused port as a unused port as a what if we will make a unused port as untrusted by any new dhcp system it will drop the packet unused port you are talking about the shutdown ports um, no sir the the ports which are not used like like attacker will after uh, any after in after entering the dhcp snooping right all the ports will become the untrusted so sir it will drop the packet no yeah it will drop it so arp inspection is required in that case because whatever the attacker is doing uh, it will drop the packet okay then in that case you have to do the ip source banding over there if you are going to configure the manually right ip addressing if you are if the attacker is not going to rely on the dhcp and if the, this guy is going to configure the manually ip addressing then you have to match with the ip source banding that will discuss tomorrow not today okay Hey, idra. So I've changed the MAC address, right? Now, if you go back to the switch one, what happened? It's matching. Yeah, uh, Hamrat, I'll explain in one minute. So it's matching over there. No. What I did over there, the MAC address of this person is this guy, right? I've changed the MAC address. Previously, C. What is the MAC address configured on this side? C two zero three, right? Three five five four zero zero zero. What I configured on R three? Zero one, right? So what happened? He's sending the request with the zero one. What switch is doing? He's checking with the database table. He's not matching. What happened? It's an invalid request on gig zero slash one for the VLAN number one. The MAC address C two zero three three double five four zero zero one, right? With which IP address? 
but in my database table it's not matching just because of the dscp snooping what i'm going to do i'm going to perform the dia dynamic arp inspection and i'm going to invalidate this arp packet i'm not going to accept right so in that case what i can they communicate now but if i'm going to change the mac address interface 0/0 can they communicate now yep because now they are guys sending the proper back address right but now tell me can i communicate with the server server ip is 101 right do pick can i communicate server no why because when the reply packet is coming in the reply packet what happen the reply packet source ip will be what 101 distance ip will be what this guy right 104 source packet address will be what this guy for example x and distance packet will be what this guy right c203 do we have a x over there because this router right this server i have configured the ip address what manually right for the manual do we have any information there dscp snooping mining table no because dscp snooping mining table contains the information about the dscp ip address right not the manual only so in that case what happened they cannot communicate so do one thing i'm what i told you that only on the untrusted code i can verify the reply packet i can make this guys a trusted for which person ip arp inspection so what i'm going to do i just need to go on the this switch right switch get zero slash zero this interface see when the server is giving the reply packet to me 101 that's the server ip address with this mac address they are denying they are denying with this ip address right what i'm going to do interface get zero slash one right is get zero slash zero ip arp inspection trust now go on the switch router see because i made this interface as trusted on this particular interface right not going to verify the reply packet i'm not going to verify the reply packet on the trust in this नहीं बच्चे सामने बहुत ज़्यादा इधर आओ। so on a trusted interface what I'm going to do I'm not going to verify the reply packet। hey guys try to understand you can also configure IP RP inspection trust or if you want you can allow using the RP ACL as plus मुंह कैसा हो जाता है लगता है भाई पूछ कहीं पूछ दिया गलती कर दिया पूछ के मैंने Hey. 
Ôi, đi đâu? Đăng. Đâu rồi? Đừng ngại đây là làm gì? Yeah. What happened? Why are you laughing? Okay. Leave it. Guys, have a look. Okay, it's not a, all the only the reply packet. It's verify the reply. It's all packets over here. Not the reply only. Right. Treat the interface to inspect all our packets that arrive on the untrusted port. No inspection is done on the trusted port. That's why I have configured the trusted port. This interface I have configured the trusted port, right? Alternatively, you can configure the ECL as well, if you want. Very simple command there. You just need to create the ARP access list, permit the IP host. In this IP host, you need to put the server IP address 191.60.101 and put the server MAC address, whatever MAC address is for example X. So this thing you have to configure manually and then you need to apply into the IP ARP inspection filter. A very simple command, but always, you know, in the examinations, you will get the this command. Rarely you will see this one, rarely, because right, most of the person is not good with the ACL. That's why they put the, this one. Right, in the troubleshooting part of the Cisco exam, you will also always get the IPR inspection trust. All clear? Any questions? Any questions? Any, okay, uh, the Hemlock said, okay, I need to explain this part. Can we assign the DHCP snooping and the ARP at the time? We have to assign. That's why I told you that Hemlock, ARP inspection, right, is totally relying on the DSCP snooping database table. If your DSCP snooping is not present, ARP inspection will be not working. ARP verify all ARP packets. I have written a reply here. Himla, that's clear now? Any questions, anyone else, guys? Will we can define the snooping command only on the exercise? Yes, you have to only define on the switch side, not on the router side. So guys, here I'm done with your IP ARP inspection or DSCP snooping, right? So law interface, uh... G0 slash zero is the interface which uh, DHCP server is connected, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, thanks. Any questions, anyone else? No? Okay. So guys, you have to put your side of doubts tomorrow. You have to put your side of doubts tomorrow. You have to put your side of doubts tomorrow. Huh? Huh? Last step. अरे मैं तो सोचा आज ही खत्म कर दूं बट एक दो हाँ अबे नहीं रे इसके कोई पाए ऐसा नहीं कल है कल है तो हम भी लाव क्लास ओके गैस कुछ भी Hey guys, anyone has questions, right? I'm in the Bibin Dilip, uh, Dipin Himrata, Javed, Manish, uh, Pandey, and Nandan Kumar. No. Not, of course, tomorrow BGB class in the morning, 6 o'clock. Hello, <laughs> guys. Bye. See you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>